Okay. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Hey, shooters. Quick video today. I'm gonna do an unboxing. Uh, this is my Tanfolio Stock 2, and I have just purchased uh, a new item for it. So I uh, thought I'd share that with you. Uh, it comes from uh, Patriot Defense. And I'm pretty excited about it. I've known about these, this item for a while, but didn't know if I wanted to spend the money to switch over to it. Uh, and then I got my hands on it and decided I, I definitely did have to get it a, give it a shot. This is the order slip. I'm not going to show that because I haven't edited out my address or anything like that. But we'll go right to the items themselves. What is that? Apparently I ordered a trigger bar pin too while I was at it maybe I don't know I really will have to check the order <laughs> while I'm there maybe I did while I was I don't know this was a while ago maybe not too far but here's the actual order this is what I ordered I ordered black tin folio Patriot Defense well, I'll give you the whole name here tin folio palm polymer palm swell large frame grips in black We'll see. Oh, what's this? Large swell in red. Black, red, and what's that going on here? It. Uh, be right back. All right, guys. So I put you on hold there for a second because uh, I'm missing something, and this is a bonus item. It is not on the order at all right nothing on the order and i pull up the order form here and it actually says that the gray ones or the silver ones which is what i was kind of most anticipating to give it maybe a just an all grayed out look uh is back ordered and will ship when done so that's a bit of a bummer that said now that these grips are here I really like the red color all right uh, because I this comes off as pink sometimes and I don't want a pink gun so let me show you I'm gonna I'm gonna go get my holster and I'll show you what I'm talking about because this red color is that's really bright red and I'm a fan of this red I, I'll go ahead and tell you University of Georgia red that's what this comes off as and I was worried that it was not gonna be that red the pictures online aren't very good so i'll be right back i'll show you this is what i'm talking about all right so this is my red hill tactical holster for this gun and you can see that red kydex is like i don't know fire engine red whatever you want to call it and that matches that really closely versus which this just kind of comes off as a bit more pink than i would like um, you know, not bad, nothing I couldn't deal with, but, um, it was a factor in me trying out this new red color. I was like, well, I'll try them. We'll see what happens. But, uh, I'm going to take these off. I'll show you why I ordered these and then we're going to put them on and I'll show you what they look like when they're installed. So I'm going to put this down for a sec. All right. Got the grips off the stock too. Wanted to now I can show you a bit more clearly why I was interested in these grips Well, I'm excited to get them on the gun and try them out luckily even tonight, so That's the best way to show you Why I'm interested in these grips um, You can see these have a they have a palm swell and it really so I was shooting that match uh, indoor USPSA a couple weeks back and Finally got a chance to head the safe area. Finally had a chance to put my hand on the this guy. Let me let me check take a look at it. He shot after me, and I was like, "Hey man, are those the Patriot Defense palm soil grips? Can I can we go to the safe area?" He had he was shooting a stock too, and I I, I said, "Can we go to the safe area and let me check them out?" Because I've been kind of curious about them, but I've never been in an area where someone had them and there was a, a safe table available. But that. Once I held them, I mean, it really, this part, this part where I'm focused in right here, really does kind of fill a an area. And then I was concerned that they would be too tall and that it would cut down my access to the mag release. 
but I I'm not sure that's going to be a problem. They look about to be the same width right there at the top. So I'm going to put this on and we'll take a look. Okay, this this is about the best way I can demonstrate the difference between these grips. This these are the Scales 2.0 grips. They really feel great. Don't think I'm talking bad about these Scales grips. They've been really working out for me. But look at the difference there in palm swell on the Patriot Defense grips. That's pretty significant down towards the bottom, which is where I felt the most difference. So I'll throw these on real quick. And you can also see how bright red those are and the pink right there next to it. You can really tell the difference right there in that picture. So I was about to throw these grips on and I noticed that the palm soil grips come with their own screw. And again, if you want to talk about ways to really demonstrate how different the palm soil part of these grips is, uh, I think that screw kind of says it all right there, right? I mean, look how much longer that is versus the... Uh, the scales grip, you know, the, just the distance that it's going to have to cover. I mean, that's recessed in there, so it's really only, it's really only screwing down that little itty bit, versus the, you know, yeah, sure, it's recessed, but you need that longer screw to really screw it into the frame. So, hopefully, the next time will they actually be installed. And they are on. Wow. So, that's red. <laughs> That's very red, but look at that. Look at the extra just surface area you're getting while still remaining very somewhat narrow at the top. I'll give you a little pro tip here. They're not slot head, which is what I was expecting. They're uh, hex head and didn't come with any tool to do it. So I was trying to do that. Finally gave up, got the Allen wrench, but they are, uh, they're wide palm swell as advertised. Um, really gives me a whole lot. Uh, the where I feel the main difference, and you can see it right there, on the other side of my hand, right there, is probably where I'm getting just that much more of a full grip feeling on this gun right now. Um, and we'll see if I can do this here. So I grab it really tight, then you can see where it's hitting you see the checkering of the back strap but it's right here sorry right there is where the palm soil is making a difference um we're gonna find out how this is i'm gonna run them tonight i am so far pretty happy um i can still hit the mag release without breaking my grip too badly um we'll see if i need to cut something here but that is one of the benefits of them being reasonably cheap all right 30 35 bucks which is you know not cheap really but when you consider what these costs that is cheap and they're they're plastic so if you want to cut on them cut a reload channel whatever you want to do that's something you don't have to feel horrible about doing so run these tonight we'll see how they work out uh thanks youtube and uh, i'll update you uh, what's up chat if you haven't it? already please like subscribe i'm pretty close to a thousand subscribers it will allow me to re-enable monetization on my channel which is actually not that much but it does provide a bit of a benefit for me doing these videos so you know if you do enjoy them and you are coming back to them and uh, I, I intend to do some more reviews and some other gear type stuff uh, go ahead and subscribe. It'll help me out a little bit. Get me over that hump. Appreciate it, YouTube.